The movie You People was one of the Netflix movies I was the most excited to check out this year. I mean, a romantic comedy with Eddie Murphy, Jonah Hill, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, and Lauren London. Written by Hill himself alongside the dude who made Blackish. I mean, come on, let's be real. I know I wasn't the only one looking forward to seeing this. And let's also be real again, I know I'm not the only one who thought it was kind of trash. So today I just wanted to share my thoughts on this movie and take a look at why I think you people just doesn't quite work. First, I want to start by saying I didn't hate this movie. I've heard a lot of complaints about it, but I'll be the first to say there are some moments that genuinely made me laugh. I think the film at its core remains fairly entertaining. Jonah Hill has great comedic timing, and when you pair him with Eddie Murphy, it does make for some pretty funny moments. I mean, how could it not? They just naturally exude comedy. And I also thought the acting was pretty good, all things considered. Everyone does a decent job with the material they're given, but it's in speaking about the material that we get our main problem with the movie, and that's the writing. So looking closer, the film is co-written by Jonah Hill and Kenya Barris. Hill being a Jewish man, and Barris, I'm not sure if he's Muslim himself, but his father by all accounts was a black Muslim. And the story is without coincidence about a white Jewish man named Ezra meeting and falling in love with a woman named Amira who comes from a black Muslim family. Now, given that both Hill and Barris are familiar with these cultures at the center of the film, why does this feel like it was written by two teenagers who learned about the Jewish and Muslim culture overnight and then decided to piece together a story? The film genuinely feels like they just wrote a list of every stereotype they could think of surrounding the Muslim and Jewish community and said, fuck it, add it in there. I think this was a chance to write a story that the two cultures who have historically not seen eye to eye, to put it nicely, and actually bring up some great topics of conversation. And I get it, it's a comedy, but I think the film could have done both, and it even tries to. To its credit, it does have some serious and heartfelt moments. I just think those moments are immediately cheapened by the film's poor writing and its reliance on basic stereotypes as its main source of comedy. It just doesn't do the film any solids. It's not only old, but in my opinion, it feels lazy and it's predictable. All things we've heard thousands of times before. I'm all for a little race-centered comedy, and I know that sounds terrible, but it's gotta actually be funny, and the comedy here misses in that regard more than it sticks. And this is unfortunate, given the talented cast we have. Jonah Hill is a great comedic actor, and Eddie Murphy is a comedy legend. Julia Louis-Dreyfus and David Duchovny are also legends, yet all of their characters are given this terrible dialogue, and even worse, they lack any real substance because they're written as either assholes or idiots. Basically, if your character is black in the film, your personality trait is asshole, and if you're white, your personality trait is dumb. That's it. Those are the only two aspects of character depth we get here. This also applies to our two leads who are the two characters who at the very least we are supposed to like and root for, but I just couldn't. Jonah Hill's character Ezra is well-intentioned, but a total idiot, and Amira played by Lauren London is written as kind of a brat who is unnecessarily mean at times to both Ezra and his family. And there were moments where she wasn't 100% in the wrong, but could have handled it a lot better than she did. For example, Ezra's mom had the tendency to be very awkward towards Amira, specifically her being a black woman that's dating her son. She would make comments on her hair and just being the dumb, oblivious white woman that she's written as. As a black man, I can vouch for the fact none of us want to feel token or fetishized. But instead of simply putting Ezra's mom on game and nicely explaining to her why she shouldn't, why she should dial it down and why it's a bit much, she snaps on this woman 
who has otherwise been pretty nice to her. I could see if this was some random woman out there on the street or something like this, but this is your soon to be mother-in-law. Wouldn't you want to at least try to explain to her how you're feeling before you go that hard on her? I just felt like, damn, we finally get a black woman in a rom-com and she's kind of unlikable and lacks substance. But as I mentioned, almost every character here is unlikable and lacks substance. You know things are pretty crazy when the deepest and most relatable character in the film is Mike Epps, who plays this sort of drunken scammer type of dude who's clearly created only for laughs. Overall, I just felt like for a film that's main story focuses on not just an interracial relationship, but also gives the couple conflicting cultural ideologies. It just fails to really even say anything. Eddie Murphy's character is one of the least likable characters I've seen in a film in a long time. And if you've noticed, I haven't even mentioned poor Nia Long. She's essentially Eddie Murphy's parrot and doesn't have anything else really to do in the entire movie. Julia Louis-Dreyfus was cringeworthy in almost every scene and almost unrealistically stupid. And I swear David Duchovny's only lines were exhibit or some type of LA rapper related which was funny the first time, but got old instantly. The families are completely out of line with one another throughout the entire film, but it's okay because they usually learn and come to some moral understanding by the film's conclusion, right? No. The only resolution is the one the writers threw in with maybe two minutes left in the film just because we needed a happy ending. Eddie Murphy half-ass apologizes for being an asshole and Julia Louis-Dreyfus says some nonsensical bullshit again and we're supposed to just believe it's all okay and these families are going to make it. Some of the things they've said to each other about each other's races and cultures you would think would require some clearing up and maybe some additional educating, but nope, nobody actually learns anything. We the audience don't actually learn anything. Not about love, not about these two cultures, not about anything, really. So I know it sounds like I hated this movie, and I did loathe aspects of it, but I really didn't hate the film overall. I guess to sum up my little rant here, I would just say that I was disappointed by this one. It fails largely even as just a comedy, but also fails in its attempt to deliver any kind of political or social commentary in a film that you think would. I think it has its moments of humor, but for this cast, with these writers, I was expecting more. And to be honest, I wasn't even expecting that much more from them to begin with. I knew it would be dumb, but not like this. I do think the film looks okay. And like I said, the performances aren't bad. There were also a few moments that did make me laugh. I also never really felt bored. I just wished the characters were likable in any kind of way and that the story had more substance to it, especially given the potential that it had. And while I won't go as far as to say I hated it like some out there, I will say I can see why many of you do. With that being said, I give you people a 5.3 out of 10. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought about this one. I'm curious to hear what you thought. Did you like it or did you hate it? Fall somewhere in between, kind of like myself, although I do kind of end up more on the hate spectrum. Hit those comments and let me know. Also, if you're new here and love to hear people talk about movies and actually want to talk about them yourself, feel free to subscribe. It helps the channel for sure, but I really just love hearing from fellow film buffs and just people who like movies in general. And I promise I do my best to make sure I communicate with all of you back. But this is it from me. You guys be safe out there and I'll catch you soon.